don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. How do you? I don't ask questions. How do you? I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. You watch way too much TikTok and YouTube. I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. Do you have body camera? I don't answer questions. I do not consent to searches or seizures. Hey, bro, I don't know if like you don't have like the proper authority at home, so like you like pent that up inside. So far, I don't like any of them. I don't like you either. That's cool. I was a bother you. You came up on me. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In June of 2023, Franklin police dispatchers received a 911 call from a local gas station. 911, what's the exact location of your emergency? Uh, hi, uh, I, I don't mean to like waste any of your time or anything like that, but is there any way that you can uh, put me through with uh, Sergeant Phillips? The first oddity was the caller's request for a specific officer. The caller continued to report that two young men were being loud in the parking lot, but admitted that they had left after being told to do so. Whenever we asked them to leave, um, they basically started getting rowdy and stomping their car in the parking lot. And shit. The caller continues to tell about the foul words the men used, but then makes an admission that the sergeant he asked for is a good friend of his. I know where the car stays at too because they like to run their mouth a lot, so I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good indication where they're parked at now. Okay, but what is your name? We just can't have that either. Sergeant Phillips knows exactly I am. We were a good, really good friend. Okay. The man calls back a second time with new claims that the men drove by the gas station, playing loud music and flipping him off, and then parking at another property down the street. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Hey, I was just on the phone with you. I just got off Phillips. Is there any way you can tell him that this car just literally parked up here without Okay, me? okay, slow down, slow down. You didn't just get off the phone with me. I'm a different person. What are the general guards Oh, here? I am so sorry. So I, I literally just got off the phone with the person. They're blaring music and flipping me off, and they're like over here with a valve ring that's right beside the stool. He then claims that they had turned off the music and that he couldn't even see them anymore. Um, I'm not sure if the car is still parked over there because, like, they just turned off their headlights and turned the music down. All right. Are you able to see them or they're not in your visual? Uh, like, I just literally seen their car, like, because, like, I'm getting out front of the store and their car is somewhere over there, like, over there by the valve The department then put out a bolo or be on lookout on behalf of the sergeant's good friend. Can you look for a black Lexus and two juvenile white males? You can get a stop on them. Or if you can locate them, stop them, please. 10 4. Can you direct 449? I'm headed that way, but I'm Franklin Road, my country. Several officers were assigned to find the men who said mean things and waved a finger at the officer's good friend as they left the location they were asked to leave. And eventually, Officer Brown spotted two men fitting the description, but on foot, just a couple blocks away. What's going on, dude? What's up? What are you guys doing? Good okay. You want to hang out here for a second? Why? Because I want to talk to you for a second. Look where they're from? Well, I don't know. Where are you coming from? I don't ask questions. Huh? I don't answer questions. Okay, come here. Am I being detained? How old are you? I don't ask questions. Okay, come here. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. What crime have I committed? Sit down. What crime have I committed? You as well. Have a seat. What, what's going on here? What's going on? Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. What's going on? Have a seat. What crime have I committed? Okay, so we're investigating a, a possible crime at Twice Dailies. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? What's the I possible crime? Questions. Okay. Take a Officer Brown detains one of the men in handcuffs and alleges that he is investigating a crime. But up to this point, no crime had been committed. The only information given was that they had left when they were told to, played music, and flipped off police officer's friend. Can you take your hands out of your pockets for me? How do you? I don't ask questions. How do you? I don't ask questions. Oh, sounds good. I'm waiting for my sergeant to show up. Somewhere to go, Stop. I'm always in a hurry. Right, damn, damn. One, two, three, four. 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 I got the 4.6 liter, two Wait, why, why are you handcuffed? I don't know, I ain't committed no crime. Why are you being detained? That's a great question. What's the issue here? Will you tell me why we got a call for you guys? We were just walking, we didn't do nothing. For okay. what? This is a public sidewalk, I ain't committed no crime. We're on public okay. property and we're walking. Okay. 
us straight. If it's, if it's determined that you're not the two juveniles we're looking for, you'll be free to go. Okay, but right now we have a call for service. Two yeah, but juveniles. a call doesn't mean nothing. What have you investigated? Okay, you're, you're not going to tell me how to do my job and my law. Well, you're not doing it right because I ain't committed no crime. I will do you. Ones. I will do you. I don't ask questions. Okay, good for you. Well, when you're an adult, you talk to me about adult things, but right now. I don't ask questions. Okay, it's not a question, it's a statement. <laughs> You watch way too much TikTok and YouTube, don't you? What's she talking about? Always wrong to know my rights, I guess. I'm not questioning, I'm just explaining things, but you're gonna be a wise guy. Don't really care. I guess knowing your rights is being wise. You ask the question, I try to answer, but you can be a smart guy, little. Knowing your rights is wise, but the officer attempts to belittle the cuffed individual as Sergeant Phillips, good friend of the gas station clerk, arrives on scene. Where's your car? I'm ask questions. You don't ask questions? How old are you? I don't ask questions. Look like you're doing me, right? What crime have I committed? Oh, you're already in handcuffs. Perfect. How old are you? I don't ask questions. All right. There you go. Under arrest. <laughs> For what? Suspicion of curfews. So we prove where you are. Suspicion of curfew? Yeah, that's not even me. Suspicion of curfew. Yeah. You look like you're underage. So if I told you if I was 21, then it'd be okay. Then I asked for your ID. Well, what crime have we committed? I just answered it's that. It's not a stop in ID state. Yeah, Tennessee's not a stop in ID. You can't just right. go to someone and say, oh, you just look a certain okay, way and so we can arrest you. After being detained for five minutes, Sergeant Phillips arrests the men for curfew. In Franklin, Tennessee, it is unlawful for any minor 17 or younger to be in public between 11 and 5 Monday through Thursday and 12 and 5 on weekends. However, valid exceptions include lawful employment, which is later claimed by one of the men, despite the fact that both are older than the ages the code applies to. Moreover, exercising First Amendment rights protected by the United States Constitution, such as the free exercise of religion, freedom of speech, and the right of assembly are also listed exceptions under the code. What qualifies as assembly is not listed, but based on multiple legal definitions, the mere union of any number of persons in a lawful place applies. Probable cause is also required to make an arrest, as Sergeant Phillips has done here despite the lack of a single fact connecting the men to a crime. If you strike out all of the above, it still only appears that the attempted enforcement of this curfew violation was simply because the caller is, quote, really good friends with the late arrival arresting and supervising officer. You may make sure I, I do you. not consent to search his or seizure. I don't understand, understand that. that. Uh, well, you're violating my arrest or not. Okay, I understand. You don't have an ID on you? Uh, okay, good for you. You can answer my juvenile if you're under under age of 18. We're under arrest again. Suspicion that no, we're under arrest. There you go. Under arrest. <laughs> We're under arrest for being suspicion of... Never said under arrest. Oh. Did oh. I? What does it look oh. like to you? Why you tell me, not, am I free to go? You tell me, street lawyer. Are we being detained? Yes, we're being detained. <laughs> we have committed no crimes. The officers check the men's ID and find that they are both of legal age, which is when the handcuffs should have been removed and the men set free with an apology from the officers. Guess we don't live in America no more. It's a pure, tyrannical state. You must obey the government. You are not free to walk the streets, sir. What are we doing here, officers? What are we doing here? <laughs> We'll let you know. We're the ones that are in charge right now. Couldn't That's know. all I'm asking. Yeah. They're just going to detain us. Wasting you wasting seat. my time. I ain't break no law. Take a seat. Take a seat. Pick a seat, man. Let's go. Have a seat next to your friend right here. Oh, <laughs> there you go. They're getting physical. They're getting physical. Then listen. I'm helping you down. Sorry, man. I got bad legs. Okay, I'm helping you down, so... Oh. Ah, ah, oh my god. Ah. Dude, he's got a hernia. You, you ah. gotta wash out, bro. You got medical conditions. Good for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere to beat my always in on hernia. Oh, so we can not pull FIM for the harassment call from there. We can prove they're overage. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, You do realize that while you two guys are screwing around wasting our goddamn time. I'm not doing nothing. You came out. up to us. We was okay. minding our own business. I just, got, no I just got off a long shift and I'm trying to go for a walk. Okay, so go home and stop bothering people because not bothering you're wasting no our time. Why sidewalk. do you think we're back here? Well, you're not because your car is illegally parked on somebody's private property that's, that's closed because you were just in your car. 
You understand how easy this would have been had you just answered my questions in the first place? That's the thing, though. I live in America. I don't, I don't have to bow down to everything y'all say. I don't got to do whatever you say. I'm yeah, a free, I'm a free citizen. Yeah. Right. So what I am break no laws. I'm a free that, citizen. What are they, Q-Man? I'll go see if they want them trespassed from the store. I'll be right back. Sergeant Phillips now leaves to speak with his good friend about trespassing the men, while the other officers lecture and belittle them. Are we free to go? Nope. That's why handcuffs are on you. They violate no rights. I feel as though my rights are being infringed upon. I don't mean to be rude, but like, do you guys have like medical, psychological problems? And like yeah, that? I actually have a hiatal hernia. It's severe. Reason. No, like anything that would like actually make you guys act so strange and and I don't know. Uh, no, I just work a lot, so I like to oh, take okay. wa- uh, walks at night. Okay, and get outside. You know, since it's a free country, and I figure I can walk on public roads. I didn't know that'd be an issue. It is when you commit crimes prior to this, but... What, 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 what crime, crime though? Like, harassment. What, harassing who? Uh, a gas station employee. When? Okay. What okay. evidence do you have? Okay. Exactly. Well, That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to talk to the clerk 20, right now. Right? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, maybe you should act like you're 20 instead of 12. Hey, bro, I don't know if, like, you don't have, like, the proper authority at home. So, like, you, like, pent that up inside, and then you put on a you uniform, and you walk me. around. No, well, You don't know nothing you. about me. I don't. But so far, I don't like any of them. I don't like you either. That's cool. I, I wasn't bothering you. You came up on me. I was well, we got to call for service. Okay, a call on your me description. Nothing. Yes, it does. It gives us probable cause to detain you. I don't think And maybe you need to do a little what research before you, you spout your mouth. You haven't witnessed no crime. I ain't commit no crime. Anyone calling to say anything, that don't mean nothing. In the case of Illinois v. Gates, the Supreme Court established that they should apply a totality of the circumstances test to determine if an anonymous tip is reliable enough to provide probable cause for an arrest warrant. Given that the sergeant knew the 911 caller, it would likely suffice. But again, no crime had been reported. The real crime is that you're wearing mismatched with socks and the fact that you two have been <laughs> rambling here for the last No, the real minutes. crime is that you came over here to detain me when okay. I did nothing wrong. No, you you the real crime, the real crime I, I is you're wasting everybody's time. time. Exactly. You wasted so, my time. My time more valuable than your time. It's not. Because you on the, the public, clock and you violate my rights. The public pays for us to service them and when you two yeah, are tax you not money. No one, who you tax money. Who you are you servicing? You must pay a lot of tax money working at Costco. Who are you servicing? You service. It's still tax money. Who are you servicing? America thanks you for your service at Costco. Okay. America doesn't thank you for your service. You're a disgrace. I don't work at Costco. Well, one of you does. Your little name tag right there. Little name tag. They got a little name. <laughs> well, it is little, so... Hey, bro, that's, that's why that might be what she says to you. But I know what you she know, said to you me. You know, people at Costco yeah. make like... <laughs> what's his name? What's who, your boyfriend? What's his name? Well, what's 60 to 100K a year at Costco? Sad. You know they make like 60 to 100K a year at Costco if you're there for a while. Well, money's not the point. The point is that we're here. Let's hear that. Well, you talk about their taxpayer money. They're servicing the public. Fire department's going to a call right now. Yeah, right? and you know why no one hates the fire department? Because the fire department is to make adult decisions. To walk up the side of the Walking road. Walking on the sidewalk is not illegal. Is that not an adult decision to make? As adults, we don't have the decision to make the walk on the sidewalk. I guess, I guess being a free free citizen is no longer a thing. It seems like we in a kind of uh, tyrannical, state. tyrannical state right now since we in handcuffs are walking on the side of the road. Do you have body camera? I don't answer questions. No, nah, but you got to. I don't answer questions. Nah, you got to. Name and badge number. Questions. Name and badge number. Is it not in your policy? No, you have to do it now. now. Okay, so you're you're violating two more rights, and you and you are not not following policy. Is that what I heard? Incorrect. That's what I sound like. Very incorrect, but okay. Name and badge number? You get it before we go. Name and badge number? You get it. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sergeant Phillips meets with someone at the gas station. His good pal didn't appear to be around. Um, do you want them trespassed from here? Yeah. Okay. If they're, if they're harassing y'all, they're up here. They're street lawyers and don't understand why we're getting out with them and why they have to ID themselves. And they just parked at the business back here that's closed. And yeah, they, I was in the bathroom. Tyler told me they've been here for about an hour. So I went over there and I told them. They need to get their gas. This isn't a hangout spot. They need to leave. And they started calling up seat names. Fair enough. 
I figured when I was up here heating up my food, they spend about five, ten minutes on the candy aisle. So I figured they're either trying to buy beer or trying to buy smokes and weren't old enough. Oh, they weren't getting it. They, they look like they're about 16. They weren't getting it into it. Alrighty. He then tracked down their vehicle to look inside it as a final attempt to find something he could hem them up on. Unable to find anything, he returns to the scene. We'll cut you out of here because we now know that you're not out after curfew, but you are banned from the dailies. Uh, yeah. She over harassing the clerk. That's the reason we got out with you as well. Because uh, he asked you to leave and you gave him a bunch of lip and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, any other questions? No, sir. How about you? Name and badge number? Phillips, 925. Name and badge number? The two were finally set free from their unlawful arrest. All right, you have a good night. All right, you dismissed. Wishful thinking. It's day. Hope you get a job. Though there appears to be several civil rights violations here, the hard truth is that nothing will likely happen, despite having been told that they were arrested and held in cuffs for nearly 30 minutes. Damages would be difficult to prove, and a lawyer would be even harder to find to handle this. Besides, even if you did find one and paid them out of pocket, the officers are shielded by qualified immunity and indemnification, meaning the only people that would be punished would be the taxpayers. As always, let me know what you think of this interaction in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.